Night of the Demons. Excuse me, let me open that. Let me say that again. Night of the Demons. Angela is having a party and Jason and Freddy are too scared to come. But you'll have a hell of a time. That's the tagline. And again, I wish this cover was a little bit bigger. I don't like that when they do this, when they're cutting off the sides, but it is what it is. Uh, let me turn to the other side. Oops, don't want to damage this, so be careful. There we go. Oops, Night of the Demons. Those are some still shots of some of the demons. There's Angela dancing, if you remember that iconic scene when we watched it on a my Blu-ray copy, which is actual my Blu-ray copy. I have the uh, Scream or Shout Factory. I think it came out in 2018, I believe. I have that copy of the film. Now I have the laser disc of it. Um, I was able to find this for a deal. Some people want an arm and a leg for this movie. Uh, this this particular laser disc can sell for hundreds of dollars online. People are crazy, crazy, but people are asking like hundreds of dollars for it online. Uh, I, I did not pay anywhere as close to hundreds of dollars. Um, and yeah, this is, I think it's one of the rare laser discs, so I can see why some people are asking that. They're probably going to have a hard time, uh, hard pressed time trying to find somebody that's going to actually willing to pay that type of money, but who the hell knows? Some people might actually belly up that type of amount, but I think that's way too much money. It is a good movie, don't get me wrong. And it's a great movie to own on laser discs, but uh, yeah, anyways. And I tested this out briefly on my LXH670, and I didn't notice any video or audio issues, which is nice, because that means this player upstairs in my room can play this without any issues. For a movie like this, that's pretty cool. Um, my player downstairs will correct some of those uh, issues, usually. I didn't play all the way through, I just was skimming through it, and I was like, oh, this looks nice. And it, um, the video quality looked nice, and everything looked pretty good. Uh, here we go. It's Halloween night, and a group of good-time teens has broken into an abandoned funeral parlor with plans to raise a little hell. And that's exactly what they do, for their intrusion has awakened an ancient demonic evil whose hunger for human souls knows no bounds. And now the monstrous predator is out to turn their Halloween party into an unending celebration of sheer terror. The visual sorcery... Excuse me. The visual sorcery of spe special effects master Steve Johnston. Steve Johnson, Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Have that one on Laserdisc. Fright Night. I do have that one on Laserdisc, but it's crappy because it's got too much Laserdisc rot and we'll never watch it because it's got too much Laserdisc rot. It has like a whole. Uh, there's my hair. Sorry for that. Um. I have Fright Night on Laserdisc, but it's got snow effects because it's so rotted and the seller let me keep it and it's just. It's just an example. I can actually make a video of an example of what how bad laser rot can get. And Fright Night is one of the examples examples, excuse me. Poltergeist 2. Ghostbusters. I always thought about getting that one on laser disc, but I didn't never decided to get it on there, but whatever. Uh, delivers high voltage. Shivers in terrifying encounter of the supernatural kind. So be prepared for an evening of horror you'll never forget. Get ready for the Night of the Demons. It was released on 1980. I mean, it was released in 1987. It's approximately 87 minutes long. That's an hour and 27 minutes, obviously. Rated R, stereo. A porky. This is just people talking with the Washington Times, uh, the Gore Zone magazine, the Hollywood Reporter. Um, a porky's. For horror fans, even Freddy and Jason would be hard-pressed to keep up with the frisky demons who run amok in this picture, says the Washington Times. Uh, a little more right-leaning nowadays, but the Washington Post is extremely left, and uh, I don't like the left, because they're just very intolerant, and they hate pro-life people, and they hate Christians, so I don't like the left. But I don't know if the Washington Times uh, were leaned politically back in the 80s, but who, who really cares? That's not what this video is about. Uh, good news on my hair. My hair, I'm sorry for my hair. I should really have it. I don't like to keep my hair in a uh, hairband. That's why you see my hair a lot in my videos. Sorry about that. 
Uh, good news for Gorehounds. Gorezone Magazine says, I don't know what Gorezone Magazine is. I don't really check out the horror magazines. It's probably a very big horror magazine in the 80s. Uh, Night of the Demons delivers these scares, makeup effects, and gore. The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, I've seen some of the Hollywood Reporter stuff online, I, I believe. Um, anyways, one of the better, it's Halloween, so let's blow away some teenagers' films. High energy, strong special effects, a fun romp, variety, variety, however you want to pro pronounce that. That's how, I don't know. It's rated R. It's ultra stereo, so it supports stereo, so it's not going to be mono. Some of the laser discs I have might be mono, but a good percentage of them are stereo like the DHS. I think, I think most support stereo. Uh, Republic Pictures, home video. That's who uh, released this. Distribute uh, this who distributed this one. Uh, the other one I have is distributed by uh, uh, I think it was Scream Factory. Correct me if I'm wrong. It might have been oh, oh, oh I keep calling it Scream Factory. It actually might have been Arrow Video. I don't know who released the one in uh, 2018. I don't remember which uh, distributor that was to be honest, but I have that too. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna put my phone down for a second so I can pick this uh, disc up a little bit better. Just so I don't. Here we go. All right, here it is again. There's a little bit of damage up here, but it doesn't affect the disc at all, but there's just a little bit mild damage on the cover right there. Um, the picture itself, the photograph on the cover is pretty good. What's that, did something fall in there? Yeah, that was just dust or something. Uh, let's see, can we get better light in? No sorts of glare when I do that. Anyways. Pretty creepy looking face. There we go. And that's it. 